today's event and what makes it unique is recreating a space and time where uh, plasma activity was at an all-time high where the atmosphere was rich in energy and it was very different in terms of air quality breathing versus today's pollution etc so we're using plasma to create an atmosphere where we can strengthen our uh, electrical systems within our body and draw in more energy with the breath and utilizing that as a compass and hopefully a beautiful experience. certified neurophysiology researcher. That means I assess and train the electrical activity of the brain to improve focus, sleep, mood, and stress resiliency. So what we're gonna be measuring at the event today is basically the brain activity that's gonna occur as the result of these different breathwork and scalar technologies so we can really measure and see what changes in the brain. I want everyone to close your eyes, breathe only with the nose, relax, and I want you to set the intention. What are you breathing life into in this moment in time? Are you breathing life into progression, whatever goals you have? Well, let's dive even deeper, the foundations of those goals. Why are those goals goals? Look at sound. It's sound is composites of air bubbles that create what we perceive as sounds. So the breath is very much part of what we perceive as sound in the moment of time, how we're breathing. It's also building a foundation of our relationship with that sound as well. So if we're breathing in a harmonious way, we're going to be taking in the plasma in a more harmonious way. We're also going to be taking in the sound in a deeper harmonious way as well. On every exhale that you do, I want you to start smiling as you exhale. Every inhale, come back to neutral. All right. So everyone turn to a partner. As you're, as you're projecting at your partner, you want to go up and down. The reason why you want to go up and down, how does the breath travel in the body? Up and down. So you're harmonizing with the pranic flow or the magnetic resonance in the body of how it moves. And you're going up and down. And it doesn't have to touch them. Still, please think of your intention. Be very mindful of what you're breathing life into. We literally live in a plasma, a plasmic universe. So take advantage. Plasma, it's the fourth state of matter. So in Chinese medicine, we also call it fire and air. So when you're mixing the two, you're getting a electrical impulse or electrical charge, so to speak, and that same charge is also found within the body as well. So when we're recreating a space where the plasma activity is very high and dense, we then charge up our cells, charge up our whole function of being, and expand what we're truly capable of in that moment in time. With the partner experience, what I've noticed is in regions that I previously had like injuries, it, it was uh, it was a little more intense, and it was almost like I like for this glimpse moment revisited that moment that I had like the injury, and then it just kind of like reset. I was just clearing away like a lot of old memories. If that makes sense, that's what it felt like for me. It's very. Uh, very healing, kind of, kind of intense in certain moments, and just kind of made 
I guess like the nerve endings that might have been damaged kind of twitched, so it felt really good. I noticed as well I was involved in a car crash previously and those nerves felt like they were healing themselves when two were used on me at one time and I felt very calm and I lost all fear of that memory of being hurt in an accident and I actually felt better when I was able to affirm my healing so I really enjoyed that. I had the opportunity to have two partners so we had one shooting in front and one shooting in back and at one point when I was getting shot in the back I had a lot of tension in my right trap and it hit me directly and I felt my shoulder come up and just drop completely as if a chiropractor just adjusted me and when I was first sitting up in the beginning of this I felt tension in my hips up here my mid back and now I feel brand new yeah, something I also want to note, one of, one of the reasons why this is my favorite tool to use with the breath is because it's, it's instant stimulation for the, the nerve endings and just every fiber of your being, and the fiber optics in the body just connecting with that. And what it's doing is it's strengthening the very same plasma arc that you see is literally within the body and it's strengthening that. It's like the electrical charge within your soul or every, any part of your being is reaching out and it's connecting with that and strengthening that within your own body. Breath work, as we know, is a very powerful intervention for the brain that can dramatically increase the production of better blood flow and oxygenation to the brain, along with modifying and enhancing brainwave activity. This was amplified a million fold by the plasma projector um, that everyone had at the event. So I've spoken a bit about using the plasma projector myself and the benefits I've noticed in terms of the deep relaxation and meditative state that it induces for me. And at the event, we actually had um, everyone there with a plasma projector. So it was this kind of field effect um, where I think the results were really amplified by everyone having the chance to be using the plasma projector and just building off the energy of everyone in the room. So it was an awesome night and I hope you guys enjoy the results here. So we observed some really cool changes that occurred in Maria's brain as a result of the breath work and plasma projector exercises that were going on at the event. So this is part of the baseline recording that we took just at the beginning of the event before Maria had done any of the breath work or plasma projector exercises. So this was the connectivity in her brain on the right is showing areas of under connectivity showed up in this uh, in these lines here. So each of these blue lines is indicating under connectivity between certain areas of the brain. So we're seeing all of these lines emanating from this area that I'm circling here. This is the cingulate. Uh, the cingulate cortex is really important for shifting gears in the brain. It helps us maintain mental flexibility and be able to switch attention from thing to thing. So we're seeing that area is under connected to the left occipital lobe. The occipital lobes are really important for vision alongside the left temporal lobe, which is super important for mood and memory. So we're seeing this under connectivity in Maria's brain at rest. Now, when we take a look at her brain connectivity, this was about three quarters of the way through the event after doing a lot of the breathwork exercises and plasma projector usage, we see a complete normalization of connectivity. So all of those areas that were previously underconnected are able to actually get online and are now communicating much better with one another so we see this restored functionality. We're going to also take a look at 
the asymmetry in Maria's brain, both in terms of before any plasma or scalar breathwork exercises were done, and then afterwards. So at baseline, we see that Maria's brain is kind of a bit left hemisphere dominant, meaning if we look at each of these alpha, beta, and delta, we see on the left side, the yellow, which is indicating more activity than on the right side, the blue. So the left hemisphere is really important for our functions of logic, rationality, um, thinking, planning, decision-making are typically thought of as the left hemispheric functions. Whereas the right hemisphere is really important for creativity, um, coming up with new ideas, and really out-of-the-box thinking. So when we take a look at Maria's asymmetry um, after the scalar, we see complete normalization. So both hemispheres are completely balanced. This means that her whole brain is working in harmony to produce optimal consciousness. So we see before this pattern where her left hemisphere is kind of more dominant than the right. And now we see this really symmetrical pattern where both hemispheres are communicating in synchrony with one another.